I'm going to feature another musician this morning. Now, she's a multi-talented sax player. She's an arranger, a composer. She's worked with Jimmy Buffett, played with James Taylor, Joni Mitchell, just to name a few. One thing I like about her is that her voice, her sound, and her identity are definitely set apart from any other. Amy, it's a pleasure having you here with me well, this morning. Thank you very <laughs> much for having me. I appreciate it. Amy, how long have you been playing the sax for? I started playing saxophone when I was 10 years old. Um, mm -hmm. in, I grew up in North Adams, Massachusetts, up in New England. And uh, they had a free school program where you could pick a musical instrument and you could rent it for $15 a month mm -hmm. and pay for it eventually. Mm -hmm. And they would teach you for free. And this wow. was in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And so my parents encouraged all of their children to pick an instrument and learn something in band. Mm -hmm. And it was not an orchestral school. It was just a small little elementary school. So we had a small band and mm -hmm. band instruments. My sisters picked the clarinet. I picked mm -hmm. the saxophone. My brother picked the trombone. Wow. So. so you just took off. From there, eh? We were all the top students mm -hmm. in classes in elementary, junior high, high school, all the first chair mm -hmm. players, but I was the only one that pursued it as a career. Mm -hmm. When would you say your career really took off, Amy? I started playing professionally when I was 16 years old, playing in big bands in the local town that I grew up in, North Adams, Mass. but. When I mo got, I went to college. Mm -hmm. I must admit, college is a very important thing to do. Education, continuing ed, helped me a lot. I uh, received a degree in music merchandising, mu business, music, and performance. Mm -hmm. And I moved to Atlanta and played. Very infrequently, it got my business chops up, worked for the Atlanta Symphony in marketing and PR. Figured if I could market a 100-piece orchestra and a 200-piece choir, I could certainly market a red-head, green-haired, I mean, green, red-headed, <laughs> green-eyed sax, chick sax player. Mm -hmm. So I used all of that knowledge to build that part of my business sense. And then I just started playing out as much as possible on the streets of Atlanta and clubs, 11 different bands. Finally put my foot down and said I have to stop playing for free. Mm -hmm. Everyone was calling me for benefits and I just, I want to, but I had to pay my mortgage. Right, right. So I, it was ironic. I put my foot down, I proclaimed out into my living room, no more free gigs, no more free gigs, this is tiring. No sooner than maybe 10 minutes the phone rings for a free gig. <laughs> and it was for Martin Luther King's birthday festivities. Mm -hmm. And it uh, featured Coretta Scott King doing a speech about empowerment of women, blacks, any ethnic race, any sexual preference, just equality, and I was asked to be a part of this. You and it was it. a free gig. Yeah. You had to. Oh, come it. on. You know, <laughs> it's like God gave me this gift yeah. and this, this challenge. Mm -hmm. And I said, of course I have to do that. Mm -hmm. And that's where Charles Neville discovered me because the Neville brothers were also on the ticket for the show, the event, for his birthday party. Mm -hmm. So I owe it all to Martin Luther King. Oh. A lot was, of people owe it to him, right? <laughs> I, you know, I was, it was 1968 when I remember vividly the tragedy that happened. I was very young. I was born in 63, mm -hmm. but I remember everything that was going on, and I'm so happy to have lived through that time. Mm -hmm. And he truly was, when I was a child, a hero of mine. Mm -hmm. And to have been given this opportunity to play for his birthday, and you know, it was just, I had to do it. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And then it w all the floodgates opened. Mm -hmm. What you just took off from there? Yeah, you, like Charles introduced me to Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy, Buffett Jimmy took him. me, and mm -hmm. I toured with him for 15 years, glorious years, and mm -hmm. retired from the road in 2006 mm -hmm. uh, from the big touring circuit mm -hmm. to focus more on my solo career, mm -hmm. um, family get back in touch with my roots and just have a little bit of more downtime. Mm -hmm. And now you're here in Key I'm West. I'm in Key West People now. can hear you perform. Uh, yes, I did what a lot of people try or think of maybe dreaming of doing. Mm -hmm. I had a big beautiful house in Atlanta, had beautiful antiques, heirlooms, gave it all up. To move here. To move here. Sold my house. I'm mortgage free. Mm -hmm. I love it. I don't have to mow my lawn anymore. <laughs> I love it. No more house repairs. But I'm free. I feel free. And I'm a renter here, mm -hmm. but I'm a nomad now. Wonderful. Well, I, for one, am very glad that you are here, Amy. And if people Thank want you. more information Thank on you, they can check out your information that they see on the bottom of the screen. Thank you for being here. With oh, me. thank you very much. I wonderful, appreciate it. Wonderful time. talking with you. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back. Don't go away. <laughs>